All right, so we searched Google and found this picture to dry and paint and fail miserably. And we actually looked up directions this time. Last time I did look up directions when I was doing the rollerballs, and I don't know if I did them right, but... You looked up directions on that? Yeah, because you're supposed to paint them first and then you have to put them in the oven. Otherwise, the paint will just wash off. Oh. His task was to go to get wine glasses and paint for wine glasses, which is apparently acrylic paint, but it's special stuff that is for ceramic. Enamel. Ceramic and enamel. And we have Smart. fancy palettes from Ice Cream Bucket, dug out of the garbage. Smart. And you're doing the green and purple one? Yeah, the one on the right hand side. And then we have real wine, which makes us better at painting. Guys, this could be a disaster. How do you make green? <laughs> <laughs> the first thing not to screw up is wine is for drinking. Paint water is not. So let's see how far we go. Apparently that's a common thing. At the paint nights, people mix up their, <laughs> their cup and can drink from them both. I'm trying to put yellow in my paint to make it brighter. I don't know how that's going to work. I made it yellow. That's how it worked. I think we're going to spend the whole night just mixing up paint. <laughs> are you painting the same one still? Yeah. Or are you going to paint that paint? Give me a flower. You completely changed what we're doing. You told me I could change it. I think I might want to get the other glass and just paint two. That's why I bought three because I thought you'd do that. I don't know how frugal we were considering the fact that we just bought three new wine glasses and we have six just plain ones at home. I'm not sure that this is going to work. Even when it dries it whips off. I'm also not pressing down like I'm, I'm letting it slide now. Like yours is still not sticking at all. This is a big fail. Mine's looking good. We need a new plan. We need a new picture. Still on plan one. That's nice, dear. <laughs> That's nice. I have a feeling I might wipe this off again still though and do it again at least once. It's okay, we have six more glasses. Not all the time in the world, but more glasses. You can't decide. Can you put any paint on that cup at all? I wiped it off. I painted it and I wiped it off. I'm too focused off. on this. I didn't see what was going on. When did we get married? This is a 50-50 every time. May 23rd. No, <laughs> it's May no. 24th. <laughs> I've literally never gotten that right. Nope. Okay, so what's one of your favorite memories? something appropriate for the camera, right? Not that talking about bush pies being inbred is very appropriate. <laughs> I probably didn't make it to the internet. Yeah, it did. <laughs> that was like the ending. And then Theo saying, Dad! And just being like, so embarrassed. <laughs> I have kind of a duplicated favorite moment. It happens to be when we're in the hospital and Getting to hold a new baby for the first time. Everything seems to come together. We can focus on that one child. There happens to be no little ones running around in the delivery room. Yeah, Sarah always looks so glowing, regardless if she doesn't want to admit it after she has a baby. She's always smiling ear to ear. And that's a great time, especially a lot of relief after some stress of Having a baby, it's you know, tough being asleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you, you fall asleep every single time. I have like almost a duplicate picture every time we have a baby of you sleeping in the armchairs. How about you? What's one of your favorite moments? I think, I think pretty much every moment for us is like tied in with children. So it's just... For 10 years? <laughs> forever. Yeah. So I think it's just when they're learning a new skill or something and then we watch them basically work on it together and 
craze them in. This would actually be a really cool activity too if you have kids to take this paint and paint maybe some juice glasses or mugs for them. Yeah, right. So that might be a good um, family. We normally do one date night a month for us and I try and do one with the family as well. Uh, generally for gifts we don't do a whole lot in terms of gifts. We, we never went on a honeymoon. We don't remember our life story. We're like totally disjointed. All right, let's see if we can get a basic timeline down. Started in November of 2002, we met. We were in high school. He was 15 and I was 17. Mm -hmm. We started dating New Year's Eve of that, uh, that year, so 2002, December 2002, December 31st or January 1st of 2003-ish. And then we had our first kiss one week later. And then we moved in together one year later in February of 2004. And then we took a hiatus for a little bit for the summer. And then ended up moving back in together after you graduated high school. We went to university and that would have been in the fall, so September of 2005. When I graduated university? No, when you graduated high school. 2005, yeah. It was when you, yeah, when we started going to university and then we had moved in together and had Theo in November 2006. And then you joined the military when he was six months old, so June of 2007. And we moved to Kelowna. And then Caledonia was born in, I found out I was pregnant there in September of 2007. She was born in May 2008. And then 16 days later, on May 24th of 2008, we got married. <laughs> That's what the marriage certificate says, so I'm going to go with that. We got married on May 24th, 2008, and then we got pregnant with Gwen in June of 2009, and we moved to Ontario in September 2009. Gwen was born January 2010. We moved back to Alberta and found out that we were pregnant with Abby in the same day in a hotel with no keys and no house in September of 2011 and she was born in April of 2012. Yes. And then we found out, so then you retired from the military. So then we moved here at the end of September slash start of October of 2014. And then Barrison was born November 1st, 2014. And then we ha found out that we were pregnant with Eliphalet December 24th of 2015. And we he... found out on the 25th. No, we didn't. You didn't tell me until first. I did because I figured that you heard me opening the, the pregnancy test in the bathroom, so I just showed it to you early. Oh. Well then. <laughs> it was a very, very nice moment where I just brought it to you in the closet and showed you. And then Eli was born on September 7th of 2016. He is now eight and a half, almost nine months old. Barristan is two and a half. Avi Enda is five. Gwendolyn is seven. Caledonia is eight. And Theodore is, no, Caledonia is not eight. She, she just, just turned nine. nine. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see. And Theodore is 10 years old now. Now our, where will the rest of our life story to guess. We are obviously kind of gypsies and we don't like to stay in one place for too long. The longest we've stayed in one place was three years, which was in Alberta. And now this fall, this October, the start of October, will be three years here, but the house is not finished yet. So the house needs to be finished. And then we'll see where life takes us from here. 